Okay, guys, welcome back to the Last Stand Aftermath playthrough. I believe we're on part 14 now. So I had a very weird thing go on with my recordings. I actually was recording previously. I was recording last night, and I recorded for three hours straight. Got several episodes of this game sorted out. But when I went back to look at the footage, for some reason it was uh, skipping around and stuttering, and the audio was... It, it was it just sounded weird so i couldn't work with the footage and had to delete all of it and because of that i also played through a couple survivors so what i did was i caught up to where we left off during part 13 at this safe area in sunken city and we're going to pick up right here so that way it kind of makes sense um, unfortunately, there's not much I can do. I can't go back and play, you know, an older survivor. When they're dead, they're dead. That's all there is to it. So I'm doing what I can here to make the most of what we have going on. So I just worked the character up to this point. Obviously, there's going to be a few different things. I have uh, a lot of a lot of uh, knowledge gained since that time, as there's been two different survivors that I've gone through since that time, as well as, uh, you know, I have different gear and a different survivor altogether. With that said, there's not much we can do about it. It is what it is, and I'm just trying to do what I can to, to correct it. That being said, thank you so much for tuning in to part 14 of our playthrough of this game. I hope you've been enjoying it as much as I have. It's been great so far. Um, we're going to see what we can do. Unfortunately, all I found on this playthrough so far is an M16 and MP5. We do have a lot of ammo, so if we find an M249 or an M4A1, we'll be pretty good there. This M16 is not so great. Um, but I just haven't had any luck finding uh, a different weapon, you know, for that slot, unfortunately. So what we're going to do here is craft a few things if we have anything to craft and then make our way out through the uh, sunken city. If you haven't already, do me a favor and leave a like on the video so that way YouTube will put the video in front of more eyeballs. I really appreciate you guys doing that. Also, there's been a lot of great tips in the comment section. And also, thank you guys for bearing with me. I've been getting a lot of uh, a lot of feedback, uh, you know, positive and negative on my playthroughs. As you guys know, I am still relatively new to the YouTube side of things. Um, I've been streaming over on Twitch for a very long time now. But as far as making YouTube exclusive content, it's something that I'm still newer to. So I appreciate, you know, your, your feedback on the videos. Uh, both good and bad as long as you're level-headed about it I am more than happy to accept it and you know kind of learn from those moments there's been a few pretty uh, off-color things that I you know people can be very rude but I uh, you know thank you for keeping it level-headed and willing to give me a chance to be part of your day I really appreciate it we're gonna go straight to the city bridge here so we can get some ammo or, I'm sorry not ammo but some gas and just pass on through here there's been a lot of great tips as far as things that I could do or things I shouldn't be doing. Uh, but one of the big things that people have been saying is that I should always keep an antiviral running. Um, but I like to play it a little bit differently. And this is something that has actually saved me a couple times. Using an antiviral when I get hit by something that does infection-based damage. Uh, the reason I do that is because if I don't have an antiviral, if I just use it, and then it runs out and I haven't found another one, which has happened. Uh, and then I run into something that does vi uh, infection based damage and I don't have something to counter it at that time. Then I end up taking more infection damage than I would if I just didn't have it. You know, does that make sense? Like if I'm able to, if I take infection damage and I can pop an antiviral really quick, it mitigates majority of the damage. So I end up taking less damage overall that way. And sometimes there's these, uh, you know, these viral traps, these infection based traps that kind of they're they're hidden or really hard to see. I've run into a couple hidden behind trees. I've run into some in hallways and buildings that where they're not visible until they're already detonating. And so that's why I like to keep an antiviral on the side at all times. So that way, if I get hit by something like that, I'm able to counter it right away rather than running the risk of not having something to counter it at all. And that's why I do it that way. I've I found that I actually survive a lot better that way overall, especially when we have scaled down uh, damage overall to it, too.
Uh, SM16 is not great. See that gun right there. Okay, so there is a antiviral here we can grab. I need to... Oh, well, we could just kind of leave, but I want to... Uh, Holy fast swinging, man. Forgot that I upgraded my, uh, my melee. Oh yeah, this M16 is hot garbage. Hot trash. Let's see. Use one of these real quick. All right, so antiviral is up this way. We need to get some gasoline. Let's see if we can get to that. I don't like this initial area. This initial area always has an armored tank in it. Like 100% of the time. What is this? Why can't I grab that? Yeah, whatever. Look at the speed of that swing now. It's nuts. All right, we need to hold out hope for an M4, man. There's the antiviral right there. We can grab that on our way out. Oh, I didn't think that I'd take damage from that. All right. Okay. And we have the gas. All right, solid. We actually got a lot out of that. Kind of interesting, int interesting little spot for that. It can't really do much of anything there. All right, we got that going. We have this. Um, I don't know if I should worry about other things here. I guess it depends on what type of enemies I find. There's more gas. What's over here, though? Another antiviral? Okay. Damn. I really need a better uh, 5.56 five, weapon. Really, really bad. Uh, let me take a moment as well to build up some of my stamina here. Didn't I have... Ah, oh, there they are. We have tons of beans. Tons of canned beans. Okay. Full tank. Heck yeah. Let's get on out of here. Okay, we have the town and the bunker. Let's see what's ahead of us here. We have a safe house right here. Vendor right there. So it's going to split us up. I kind of want to hit the vendor because it also has that Herc station. And I feel like that makes the most sense in potentially getting us a M4 or an M249 or some type of other stronger 556 five, weapon even a sport shot rifle is better than the m16 the m16 is like bottom of the barrel when it comes to this class or this caliber of gun in this game let me go ahead and how many can bombs we have three can bombs seven grenades let's throw grenades on right here just so we can have them at the ready Okay. We have this bunker right here and a question mark over here. That thing. Let's hit this. Get another battery out of the deal. Some explosives, some scrap, some tape. Let's take this. It only gave us 100 supplies. That was actually worth more taking it now. So let's do it. All right, let's go in here. Wow, this is extensive. This is much more than I would expect to be in this little area.
Wow, that did nothing. That grenade was worthless. We have two question marks down here. My swing speed is so fast now. Come on, recover. There you go. So I maxed out the uh, my melee attack speed in the knowledge. And so now my character just swings like a mad lad. All right, we have a construction table here. We should capitalize on this moment. Make a battery. We also should be able to make a couple of melee weapons. Oh no, just the one? I only grabbed one tape. I thought I got more. All right. Definitely will be making some more can bombs. I believe we're good on everything else otherwise. Oh man, we're almost level 71 as well. wonder what level I was at the end of part 13. I know I got a lot of experience really quickly. Once you get into the uh, sunken city and hell regions, you gain experience relatively quick. I got stamina so fast. All right. Armored tank down here. It's an antiviral down here as well. What is this? Absolutely nothing, apparently. Now we're going to use this. Take this. This is free. And then we're just going to run on out. There's nothing else of significance here. I'm sure we could find a lot of like small loot here, but I don't think it's just worth It's just not worth staying here. Let's just make the most of this antiviral and leave. I was hoping that we would have an opportunity to find some type of better AR because this AR is not good. It's... This is the type of weapon where it's just so weak that it could end up hurting the run. The good news is I do have the MP5 that I can rely on if I need to do a little bit faster damage. It's funny because some runs, there was the one run a couple videos ago, I think it was, where we found three M4s in a single go. And I can't find a single one now. All right, let's see. Antiviral here. Ah, there's Went th straight through this guy into the fire. What the heck? All right, you're dead. Good job. Stun grenade, another antiviral. Might be able to grab that on our way out. Some nine millimeter. All right, I see gas right here. Kind of want that. Can I hop this wall? No? All right. All right, 
right, you know what, dude? Have that. There you go. There you go. Plenty in this can, it says. Plenty. Yeah, this, uh, this bloodluster is pretty great. All right, full gas tank. Love to see it. What is this last thing? Another antiviral? It's right there. Keeping it running. Trying to keep as much health as we can at this point in the game. Can I loot that? No, there's nothing in it. Okay. It's going to be a very busy area. We have the vendor... And that Herc station. Hopefully we can get an M4 there. Or an M249. One of the two. Either one will work beautifully. Oh, there's a Herc station here. Didn't realize there was. I also hear a gun. It's right there. Alright, so we're going to have to open this up to get inside. This is likely going to attract a little bit of attention. Let's sip on the good stuff here. Oh, beautiful. An armor tank. Love to see it. Alright, three grenades took him out. I only got two left, but good to know, I guess. Missed one, unfortunately. I also did up my grenade damage, so that definitely helps. Or my my explosive damage, I should say. Where is this gun? Right there. Okay. That's actually a pretty killer spot for me. It's going to help ward off a lot of the zombies that come at me from over here. If it hits at all. M4, please. Ah, uh, UMP. Not ideal. No, 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 no. What the heck am I doing? All right, we can come back here and get this antiviral. We have 64 knowledge. Let's call some of this in. 
so yeah so this is the last time you guys saw my tree here i got all of this i'm not sure if that was in part 13 or not but also i got um a little bit of durability damage on this we're actually going to cap that out now so our weapons last a lot longer and i think we you already saw that and then i did a lot of this 100 plus 150 percent fire damage and then plus 60 percent explosive damage and at 40 percent explosive range um I believe you've already seen those as well. So uh, those are the, the changes that happened to the skill tree since you last saw in the last video. Like I said, my footage was essentially useless. I couldn't actually do anything with it. So I'm just trying to, you know, do with what I can with what I have. Uh, let's see. What should we level up here now? Fire resistance might be pretty good to avoid taking fire damage as I seem to keep walking into little bits of fire. Um... We have 44 points left. I should have taken XP gain a long time ago, but whatever. Um, no real need for any of that. Maybe we just kind of get these so we can get the flamethrower. Screw it. Let's let's learn how to make flamethrowers, I guess. Okay. What are you doing up there, dude? And we got that in there. Um, there is this thing over here. It's probably... Oh, shoot. It's probably down there in that pit. Yeah, it's down there. I don't know if that's worth it. I've got nine Molotovs. There we go. let them burn out for a minute just let it happen all right a couple of them died Ah, that's terrible. All right. Well, let's go grab... Uh, let's go make an antiviral real quick, and then we'll go. Uh, I was hoping for something better. That's been my luck on this run specifically so far. Just not a lot of uh, good, useful stuff. As far as uh, weaponry goes. I mean, I did just get a UMP as well, so that's not bad. Actually, let me look at, this. Let me look at that. How much ammo do I have for it? We have... I already had a UMP, I didn't even remember. Overall, though, we are level 71. That might have unlocked some more things we can unlock as far as uh, starters go. So, you know, it, that's the name of roguelites. You have RNG on the loot that you find. A little bit of RNG on the maps. Yeah, let's do this. And then you have... Uh, the potential for better starting gear based on your supplies and getting things going. That's something a lot of people, when it comes to these games, do not understand. They don't realize that death is a part of it. Uh, there's been uh, some pretty interesting comments <laughs> saying that you're not supposed to die and stuff like that. And while I'm sure it's possible to get through the game with very limited gear, if you're very good at it, that's not the norm by any means. Here we go. Those guys certainly go out in a blaze of glory.
Hello there. Please have an M4 for me. M249. We that cost 75 knowledge. Are you kidding me? 75? Why? There's no way. Well, I guess we're uh out of luck there, guys. That's unfortunate. Sell that, sell that, sell that. Sell that. Sell that. We don't need four M16s. Oh, he's out of uh out of vendor stuff here. We can only get 23 knowledge out of all this, man. That's so depressing. I guess we just take the 556 and be grateful for it, yeah? 75 knowledge for that thing. Holy. That's extortion, sir. All right, there is the Herc station still. Everyone step in the fire. It's good for you. It's like a little rave. Wow, that didn't really do a lot, did it? Oh, oh one guy died. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Progress. Okay. Man, uh, this doesn't really make me feel good about going for a flamethrower if it takes that long to do fire damage with a Molotov. I guess we'll figure it out when, uh, when we get one going, but man, that just doesn't feel very good. Damn it. Do I hear a tank? I... That hits me. I love it here. Okay, I thought if, you know, he ran at that, he would hit the wall, but I guess not. What the heck? Dude, this, uh, these characters' collisions are so clunky. He just bounces off walls. down i got greedy with the swings there all right well it is what it is karen is down oh no it's unfortunate to have the end run there when we we're about to uh move on to that the next area where we we're potentially be able to uh beat that mini room again I, I wasn't very confident in that run though i'm gonna be honest with you guys i was not confident in that run because i could not find good weaponry as far as 556 five, goes i had the mp5 to rely on there a p90 i'd imagine that uses 45 rounds i can't think of like any of the rounds it would use otherwise i don't know um let me think let me think. 
Start with chem lights, bottles, boards, rags, gear. We can start with a gear. That's actually pretty good because that allows us to get the potential to make weapon parts and uh, gear axes. That's solid. G17 pistol is a starting weapon. Okay, we're actually starting to get some pretty decent starting gear here, guys. This is, uh, this is pretty good. And then from here, I guess we... Kind of want to get this S12 going, and then we'll get this P90 going. I keep skipping the AK because other things are popping up that seem better for me at the time. Um, let me take this, 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 that, this, that, this, that, this, that. All right, good stuff. Let me take that gear as well. Thank you. Unfortunate that Karen died there, but it is what it is. All right, what kind of ammo are we starting with? We have 24 9 millimeter. Looks like we have the G17, the pipe pistol, and the Torrin. The G17 is the best out of these. All right, let's get going. We're going to try a little bit of a different strategy this time. We're just going to get as much gas as we can and just speed through everything. We'll only stop at areas where there's safe houses. Um, vendors, uh, Herc stations, the key points. Okay. Uh, put that on. We reload. Don't forget to reload. Uh, I don't have a battery for that. That's tragic. Damn, swings so fast it's almost uh bad for you. Maybe we could find a battery down here. Need to see what it takes to make a uh, flamethrower as well. Okay, infected blood sample is good. So I think in the future, when it comes to the armored tanks, what I really should work on doing is running them into, oh, this is great, sport shot rifle this early, uh, running them into walls and hitting them like four times max with a melee weapon and then backing off. I got really greedy there. Uh, like I was out of stamina, so there was no way to get away from him. It's just rather unfortunate. All right, what does the spore shot rifle do damage wise? All right, 90, 90 per uh, round, but only 300 DPS. So it's good early on. We need to find a solid replacement for it. Uh, we never found a battery, unfortunately. Oh, just stop it. Come on, stamina. There you go. I was hoping for a little bit of loot out of these guys. Looks 
like no gas here. We're about to get stranded in the middle of nowhere on the very first go. There's the vendor right here, though, so we can hit that. You know what else? Um, in the last recordings that I had, I found an S... Uh, what is it? The S110? It's a 7.62 semi-automatic rifle that actually over-penetrates uh, through armor. And it's really, really great, and I found one on one of the runs, but... Unfortunately, I couldn't use that footage because it was all stuttery. I'm really upset about that because that was really, really great gameplay. I'm so sad. About half full on this. Saw a supply bag back here as well. No loot anywhere, it looks like. Nothing else here. I guess we just go. Of course, I got to that same, uh, on that run with that rifle that I mentioned, I made it to that same little room with that tank and, I don't know, about a, a dozen, dozen and a half random zombies. And I just, like, instantly died again. There's just, there was nothing I could do in that situation there either. It's rough. I see the boomer over there. All right, what do you have, sir? He's got five, five, six rounds for 15 knowledge. going to go ahead and take that 556. Five, Thank you, sir. Just sold him a bunch of really disposable items. There's nothing else here. This is so weird. You know what else is weird is I also upped the, uh, the potential to find gas on a lot of these maps in the knowledge. There's like a, like a bit of like a luck thing you can build there. And I have not found any extra gas so I think it just means that you'll find like fuller gas tanks more than anything. Because I've noticed I've been getting more of those than uh, actually getting gas cans in general. This has got to be the lowest amount of gas I found this early on in the game. This is weird. All right, what do we have? Put on this pipe. Workstation over that way. Let me repair this while we have a moment of freedom. We're going to loot up this whole area here. Shotgun, huh? Hey, Boomer. Alright, two broadcast things and a fire. Can't really do much with either of those right now. Okay, it's about a useless shed. I'm 
hearing this beeping. Assuming it's over here. We're in this bucket, maybe? Okay, some beans, meat, and extended mag. Not bad. And I feel like this run is extremely slow already, just based on not really finding a whole lot of goodness. It's gas right there. I feel like I'm gonna need batteries for anything in here. There's also a uh, antiviral right there. I don't have batteries. Damn, dude. Step right up, sir. What are you doing? Come on. There you are. All right, some blue honey flower. Doing this was about useless. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, what the heck? There's zombies in the trees, man. They're in the trees. They're in the trees. Now you guys got stuck, huh? Guys, do me a favor. If you've made it this far in the video, hit the like button so that way YouTube will put the video in front of more eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. I think by the time this video goes live tomorrow as well, we'll be at 3,000 subscribers. So again, guys, if you haven't already, there's going to be a link in the description below click on it and go leave a question oh wait you know that antiviral is free um leave a question there i'm gonna do a q a video and i'll be answering any questions you guys have that you leave on that post so make sure you do that oh no it wasn't oh, damn it that was just a thing uh this is not a good run this run feels already doomed based on this start Doomed. And we have a safe house we can hit or the supply cache. I feel like safe house just for the guaranteed supplies. Simply for guaranteed supplies, it makes more sense right now. Do, do, do. Okay, we got that. Oh, really? Those can be empty? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, that was the desk that was empty. Okay. It's about to be really sad. Whole bunch of stuff. Sport shot rifle. Okay. And I've already got a sport shot rifle, but... All right, 35 knowledge. What can we do with 35 knowledge here? Pistol damage might be good. Beeper bomb might be pretty damn useful in that room. Let's take the beeper bomb. What's this as well? Box mine? I'm going to make a box mine. The mine can be placed on a surface and detonates when effect. Yep, we're taking that as well. We can make these and use those in that little room and like plant them around strategically. And when they get too close, they pop and that should be some guaranteed damage. We might be able to actually booby trap that room enough if we do it right to get rid of a lot of bad guys really quickly. Let's make a melee part. We should be able to make a bloodluster. What does it take to make these beeper bombs? Can bomb and electronics. And then flamethrower is firearm parts and oil filter. I think I found a whole like three oil filters throughout all of my gameplay. So that's kind of tragic. Firearm parts and a pipe. 
Fox mine, can bomb, and scrap. That's pretty easy. That's pretty easy. I think the beeper bomb will be the harder of these, but the box mine, I mean, that's that's not bad at all. Can bomb and a scrap, that's really easy. We can already make a can bomb, for example. Might be able to make one now, yeah. That's extremely easy to make, that's great. So again, we might have to revert back to what we were doing before and just running around collecting all the supplies that we can find, uh, just for the sake of being able to really prepare ourselves up in that direction. Let's make some antidote for when the poison area comes up. A whole bunch of endurance stuff. A few herbal remedies just in case. All right, let's go. Hold on, there's gas. I forgot. It's sitting there glowing green. You know what's really great is because I have minus uh, all, you know, all the uh, resistance to infection from all sources, the infection rate has been really slow, and it's really nice. All right, military outpost. We're going to hit this in hopes that we can find some guns and ammo. When you get in your groove in this game and you kind of understand what type of stuff you can find where, it really helps to stop at locations like this to see if you can capitalize on that. I uh, often find batteries in these in military areas as well. Oh, damn it. What the heck? Okay, I guess that's a thing. I don't have any batteries, so I can't pick that up. Right? I don't have any batteries on me. Let me make sure. Yeah, no batteries still. We have this Herc station as well, but I don't have any damn batteries, so I can't open up anything in there. Give me batteries and guns, please. Uh. Lots of sun grenades. I guess there's that. I mean, if there's an antiviral in there, it'll be worth doing, but I can't do anything else there otherwise. It just feels... This run feels really bad, guys. I'm not going to lie. I am not going to lie to you. There's not even an antiviral in here. What is wrong? This is the most scuffed run. Ow. This is atrocious. <laughs> I, I I don't even have batteries. Maybe the last few runs have just felt so good that this one just feels extra bad or something. I don't really know. I don't really know at this point. All I know is, is that there's nothing here for us at all and we should just leave.
Ok. And we're off. Remember how I said I was going to power through this area really quickly? Remember that? I remember that. Oh, we got this. Maybe we'll find some stuff out of this. Maybe this will be the run's saving grace. I believe. Well, we got some ammo out of the deal. I guess we'll take it in hopes that something uh, improves shortly. See a boomer over there. A boomer over there. This is why we keep the antiviral on us so that way. So this is a great example of what I mentioned earlier, where this is mitigating a lot of that viral infection damage. Uh, if I had used my antiviral earlier, I wouldn't have an antiviral to take care of that right now. So while we are taking a lot of health damage, the health damage is something we can repair. We can't repair the infection damage. This is a perfect example of what I mean. I'm getting a lot of kills here, too. All right. With that said... Take all the loot that we can off these guys. We're not finding much otherwise. All right, what else do we have here? We have a fire and a couple other question marks. Let's loot up this building. Alright, some more healing stuff. Not bad. Just replace the bandages that we use, so... We're looking pretty good in that regard. I just can't find a whole lot right now in this game. It's a struggle out there. There's some gas. I hear the beeping over there. I think uh, we're going to put some more points into uh, XP... When a survivor dies, may as well at this point. Got the fire there. Yeah, dude, this is a tough go, guys. I can't climb that, apparently. Go ahead and put on the sport shot rifle. We've got a ton of ammo for it right now this early on, so there's that at least.
All right. If you've watched the last few videos of this playthrough, then you already know that we are usually much better kitted at this point um, in the game or in the runs here. So it's kind of unfortunate that we are where we are. This is probably the uh, the worst looted I've been in this game in a very long time. I've not found a single battery. I don't think I have even have electronics to make a battery. Yeah, I don't even have electronics to make a battery. That's wild. It's just been a very poor loot run. I can't even get, a, like, one of those. I think I need to go to this thing back here. Whoops. Apparently I forgot to put on a melee weapon. Take all these nerds out of here. Should be able to get a free antiviral out of this one. Keyword is should. Yes. Perfect. Still no battery to open any of these damn boxes, though. Tragic. pocket knife these guys are all really low health enemies oh shoot I just remember that I skipped that uh, that cache of supplies in the last area the beeping thing oh well Damn it. Swung my way right into that. All right. Yeah, well, luckily antiviral was running. Let's see. We kind of want to make it to that vendor, but also safe house. They're making me choose. I think we'll hit safe house. That way we can hit the supply cache as well here. Let's hope that we can find batteries along the way. At some point, that would be grand. That would be just dandy. All right, Trailer Park, show me what you've got. Show me the goods. We've got a bottle and a board. I hear a big guy. There he is. Uh, okay. Please die.
All right, got some gas. This should be enough, it says. Gonna make me kick down the door, huh? Come on, game, help me out here. <laughs> Guys, this is the most scuffed run in this game I've had. I can't find anything. This is awful. All right, some tape. We can actually make melee parts now. That's not going to help us much right now, but let's turn it on, I guess. Oh, we found a Molotov. Okay. Decent. Even the rifle on the wall turned out to be nothing. Are you kidding me? Okay, some stuff here. There we go. Nothing great, but something. Oh, oh, scrap. Thought maybe we were about to find a battery. Still no battery, so I can't open that. All right, let's make some of these melee parts. Can make three, which means we should be able to make three blood lusters real quick. Oh, we have a gear for a gear axe as well. What are you guys doing out here? What is it that you want? Yeah, we can do absolutely nothing else here. Except just kind of go around and loot stuff up for a bit. I guess what we can chalk this up to uh, at this point is just getting as many supplies and uh, as much knowledge and experience as we can. This is one of those runs where it's just not offering us a whole lot otherwise. So it is what it is. So let's play like that. We're already at a point where if we don't really have that much otherwise, I just don't see it really going well. I do have a sports shot rifle, so it's not like a completely dead run, so we can defend ourselves for a while. But as far as like even batteries, uh, the batteries are so key to getting important gear early on, so that way you can carry it with you into the later parts of the game. And the game just isn't giving me even that right now. It's a bad luck run. I mean, as you can see, a lot of these places here just are offering no loot at all. But we're finding some knowledge, so there's that. Hello there. I want to say that's it for the map. Yeah, that seems to be about it here. Battery? 
oil filter. <laughs> I mean, oil filter's good for other stuff, so there's that. Well, we are 75, so we're gaining levels. I wonder what the level cap is. If anyone knows what the level cap is, please let me know. I actually have no idea. We want to go to this safe house here. Uh, we may as well just stop every location. May as well. way I see it is if we can't really get a good run out of something we may you should just make the most of what it is just get as much other stuff as you can if you're not finding good loot it's kind of what last run ended up being as well just kind of a experience run oh a battery guys we found one heck yeah Oops. Just get rid of that guy. Just get him out of here. Supply bag here with a hunter inside. Got a lot better at fighting those than I was at the beginning of the game, I'll tell you that. I'll take that, thank you. This house has nothing otherwise. Holy. Terrible loot, this run, man. We did find a battery, though, so there's that. We can open up, open up this cache here. Hope for something good. And we get a replacement battery out of the deal. What I think I'm going to do on this run though here, uh, instead of taking this battery, we're just going to activate the beacon. Just get some, uh, some big supplies going. There's not much else here. Let's carry on. Hey guys, do me a favor. If you've made it to this point in the video, please leave a like on it. So that way YouTube will put the video in front of more new eyeballs for us. I really appreciate it. We're just about at 3000 subscribers now. It'd be great if you were to join us. So don't be afraid to hit that sub button as well. If you're enjoying this playthrough, I do this for a lot of different games. Uh, not only roguelikes and roguelites, but also a lot of RPGs. I play FPS games, strategy games. If it's just something that appeals to me, then I play it. It'd be great to have you guys here for more of it. get this started up this will lure in a bunch of zombies from all over we'll get a good chunk of experience yep that's a supplier
That's uh that's a pretty big guy. Well, that was a little awkward, but it worked out. Gave the big guy the old gear axe. There is a supply bag here and then a construction table here. We've got 50 knowledge. Oh, a battery. Oh. Oh, they do exist in the game, guys. Would you believe it? <laughs> I see some plants back here. The stash of some kind back here as well. Right here. M4. Okay. Extended mag with it as well. Um, We might be able to make firearm parts and fix this bad boy up. Oh, yeah, I, we only need scrap for it. Firearm parts are used for crafting other weapons, right? Damn it. I forget that. Okay. Uh, we can make a flamethrower now. Uh, screw it, dude. Let's... Yeah. You know? And as far as propane gas goes... I think we craft that over a fire, right? Let's see. M4 of the sports shots. The extendo mag on it. And a suppressor on it. Okay, uh, that's not looking too bad. Now, as far as uh, this other weapon slot goes... The old G17 here. Put the extended mag on it and the muzzle brake on it. Let's save our five, five, six rounds now. Another construction table. <laughs> See, th th we find an M4 on this run when we were better geared for it last run. Let me go ahead and eat some, uh, some canned fish for a minute. Nothing that raises the hunger like slaying zombies and putting together M4A1s. So we're just gorging on canned fish. Not just any canned fish, room temperature canned fish. Ugh. You do what you got to do to survive, though, right? Do what you got to do. Another construction table. I'm pretty sure that, like, these buildings are made of construction tables at this point. Um, supply thing here. We'll come back for, uh, for the bag.
All right. Let's see. Quick crafts. All right. Uh, so it looks like the propane gas is something you do make over a fire. So we'll see what it takes to make it when we find one of those, which we'll have one here at the safe house. So there we go. I want to try it out, see what kind of work it can do. If it's anything like the Molotovs, it's going to be severely depressing amount of damage, even though I have the fire skill all maxed out. Take all the goods. All right, let's see. Propane gas. Alcohol in a plastic bottle. We made one. It's all we could make. It's all we could make for now. Plastic bottles, though. If I just drink clean water, then uh, it'll give us plastic bottles, too. Make all these endurance things. I'll make another antidote as well. Call in some knowledge. Let's see. That's all capped for the important stuff. I guess we could just get more food things going, but it's never the food that's a problem for me. Let's just get more here. More XP gain. Medkit, we take those. All right, full gas tank as well. Like nothing back here is lootable. I mean, we see that axe right there, and yet the last few times I've been here, it's not given me the axe. People were griefing me about that as well. <laughs> Take the axe. <laughs> like, man, it won't let me. <laughs> All right, let me uh, take a moment to... Heal up. And then let's put the ranged weapon of flamethrower on. Oh, that scared me. All right. Prey on the weak. Where's my clean water? We have contaminated water. Did I use all my clean water? Oh, do we have to, where is it? Am I overlooking it? Am I crazy? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I've got 19 of them. How much alcohol do we have? The four plastic bottles now. We don't have any alcohol. Crap. All right, whatever. We'll be uh, prepared for it in the near future here. 
Let's get out of here. Let's go burn some uh, some Zeds here. Really curious as to the damage this will do. Hopefully it's good. Oh, Zombos. Uh, that seems pretty good, but it uses fuel extremely fast. Yeah, that damaged them pretty quickly there. All right, let's hold on to the rest. I hear a tank. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. Of course, with the the lunge that you have with <laughs> with the melee weapons in this game, I feel like I'm playing Halo. You just really charge right at these guys. Damn it. All right, tons of construction tables today. All right, man, let's do this. You and me. Mano y mano. Easy mode. Okay, so the zombie was just chilling not really going for me all right my one battery let's do it m4 and 556 five, we're gonna take it just for the 556 Is this beeping thing there it is no gas here huh oh there's there's more than one of these okay that's sweet love it when that happens Don't assume that I've found any alcohol all the while, have I? That's a negative. You know, from here, I guess we just kind of go. We got a couple things. Including some knowledge. The zombies are teaching us how to eat humans. I think this is the weirdest run I've had in this game. 
having a hard time finding some pretty basic things. Let's hope the gas station has it for us, you know? Tank right there. Oop, jam. Oh, that's a good swing right there. Love to see it. One swing and like four zombies died. No, the gear axe. That was just kind of convenient. Oh, a battery. There we go. That's the stuff. Cop car, maybe some weapons. No. Uh, my bullets are disappearing. Shooting right at the guy and it was just doing nothing. All right, a battery. That's supply. this thing I'm hearing it seems to be loudest right here maybe it's on the other side of this I see this is this it yeah all right just sounded like it was over on that side. Another battery. Okay, now we're starting to get a steady flow of batteries. Not sure what took the game so long, but we're finding them now. Whoa. Uh, hey, I didn't even see there. Let's check this barn. Tactics manual. Another battery. Okay. I think the game is like realized how bad luck I've had with batteries today. Can't loot that guy, unfortunately. I'm not sure what they were eating, but it's no longer a thing. So there's that. Oh, I missed. All right, almost 77. Not sure what level we need to be to start getting some more supplies at the end, but... Let's hit the compound. What we're doing on this run, guys, we're just kind of going through these areas, trying to loot up as much as we can. We, we, 
we're kind of in like an in-between run now. We found a few batteries so we can actually potentially get some good supplies. We found a couple M4s. I've got a decent amount of ammo for it. Um, we're just going to, at this point, we're just going to take this run as far as we can. And in fact, we're going to make this an extra long video. We're going to play this one right up until we die. Either we win or we die. There's absolutely nothing here. What the heck is this, guys? Like, what is this? I really do feel like this is a botched run. <laughs> Why is there nothing here? Maybe we'll discover something? I don't really know. May as well loot up. This is strange. Oh, that was almost bad. Considering I uh, almost let the boomer just kind of explode. There we go. Oh my god, hey. You know, uh, <laughs> I think these zombies are becoming poets or they're starting to really understand how to write down their feelings. Just found three journals on zombies in a row. Found a rifle scope. That's good for the M4. All right, this weapon's just about toast after all this. A battery, though. A note. Zombies are writing notes to each other now. All right, there was a decent amount of loot here overall. Where's that it's rifle scope? There we go. We got three batteries. I think from here we just kind of go. There goes that. Let's hope this military base offers us at least a little bit of something. I can't believe there was nothing there at all. That is so weird. I don't think I've seen that before. Just kind of goes to show how scuffed this run is, I guess. Right, there's going to be something there. There's gas here. Maybe an antiviral. There is an antiviral. I've got like full automatic melee. There's a Herc station here. So I'm going to see if we can make one instead of using a battery for that. No, you know what? We're thirsty.
Ah, oh, bro. <laughs> thwack, 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 thwack. And all that's in here is a damn fire. All right. A shovel, huh? Bro. All right, shovel is weak sauce. 762 rounds on that guy, though. Hook me up, dude. Ah, that could be good. Another antiviral right there, too. Um, worry about that maybe after we open this up. Another grenade launcher and some ammo for it. Ah, uh, get out of here with that. guy's been stunned twice over now. All right, the shovel served us well. The shovel served us well there. The aiming thing disappeared for some reason. Oh, it just has to get real close with it. All right, let's open this. Bandages, med kit, painkillers. That's a supplier. That is a supplier. got one battery left I think from here we just kind of leave we found a uh, another antiviral so that's good got that going we also found a bunch of uh, 40 millimeter grenades can be used for some tight spots overall not bad not a bad little go let's see kind of want to hit this which means we won't be able to hit the safe house though oh well let's do it
See a spitter over there. Only one thing here, it says. And it's gas. Uh, of course. Zombies are not smart. They fly through windows pretty well, though. Is it? No. Should be in this patch of grass here then. I can't really see through the building. Maybe it's in here? No? So hard to see. This is unfortunate. <laughs> what the hell? It sounds like it's right here, but I can't see and I'm not seeing any E pop up. What the heck? It's not in here. It's loudest right here in this patch of grass. I and I just can't. Yikes. Pressing E a bunch just to see if something happens, but. What the heck? I don't see anything. Alright, this is a huge waste of time. I'm just not worried about it. And we have the gas. I guess we just move it along. That was a little odd. Couldn't actually see where that thing was. Or, you know, what it was. Obviously, we knew it was like one of the little... One of the little caches, but... Couldn't actually see anything because that wall wouldn't, like, disappear. Seems like a lot of the taller buildings do that, uh, towards the edge of the maps. Alright. Got this here. Got all this stuff here. Ah. 10% damage, 25% melee damage. Yup. I thought I'd be able to get up this. It looks like it's a ramp. Maybe not.
Ooh, a battery. That's good. Another battery? Now the game's throwing batteries at me, guys. You're seeing this. No, 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 no. Well, this isn't very good. We are getting infected like crazy right now. No antivirals in the area. I just took so much free damage there. Only found one alcohol, apparently. Throughout all this time, one alcohol. Good news is we found a bunch of batteries. We're up to three now. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. I was too busy looking at that SMG. That glorious, glorious SMG. Forty-five caliber as well. That's pretty good. Oh, see, we we can go up. That was just broken. Oh yeah. Another battery. What do you have, sir? What do you have in your pockets? Five, five, six rounds. Yoink. Also, 45 caliber rounds. Also, yoink. As far as what we can sell, we can have that, 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 that. Also, that. Also, that. Can have a couple of those some of them that as well this guy is getting things he can have a lot of things there you go all right we got 83 we actually came out on top here rock propelled grenade cost one cost 10 geez 762 rounds i don't have a 762 weapon so i'm not worried about that uh, I think we just kind of go from here. There's nothing else of value here to us. There's not even gas. Which means we have to go to middle of nowhere. Want to get up there, so I guess we just go up this way. I know this is a longer video than what I even usually do. Usually they're between an hour, an hour and a half long. If you've made it to this point, do me a favor. Leave a like on it. Thank you so much for being with me along the way here. I know this is a bit of a weird run. Uh, the loot seems to be pretty varied. We're just kind of going all in here, trying to find uh, our way to get as many supplies as we can. I appreciate you guys sticking with me for the ride. This weapon's very loud. Man, the M4 just wrecks. How'd that happen? How'd the pole get inside the car? Just get rid of those guys. We are leaving. All 
All right, onto the city streets here. Just need gas to move it along. Even with mediocre gear, we're able to make it pretty far based on just finding a couple of these good guns. Only one question mark here. Well, hopefully it's gas. It's not. Jesus. Now, one good thing about the vector, its DPS is extremely high. <laughs> I can't even see you guys. I'm trying to hold on to my 45 rounds here. We have our stamina. These are all bigger guys. There we go. Electronics, explosives, scrap, tape. We can make some stuff out of this. I think I'm going to take it. Normally in that moment, I would take supplies, but we're actually getting uh, decently far along now. We might be able to make it to a pretty uh, interesting area in hell. And so we're going to want traps for that specific room that we're going for. Yeah, we're going to have to hit middle of nowhere for this. Oh, there goes a mine. I hope they didn't hit my car. Okay. Looks like explosives don't hurt the car. Jeez, man. That hit me from that far away! Holy... Those mines have some range on them. It was doing damage outside of the actual visual for it. That's unfortunate for me. Gear. All right, decent amount of gas there. Need my man to survive a little bit longer here before we reach the uh, hell area. Starting to run low on 45s. 45 caliber rounds. All right. Well, there's some. All 
All right, here's this. Well, it kills that spitter really fast, so that's nice. Give me the ammo that I need. Nine melon shotgun shells. Yeah, that's a supplier. Step right up. Oh, hey, look at you. Out of all those zombies, one of them had loot. Wild. Almost 79, I guess there's that. Ow. Whoa, okay, these zombies just materialized. And I'm gonna be taking damage here. Damn it. Let's take that. Straight to the max health here. These zombies just materialized right here. I I think my game might actually be bugged right now. I don't know why, but there's just so many weird things going on in this run. Oh, we got a good amount of gas. That's good. I need the game to uh, give me a fire. I need a fire. All right, let's hit this military outpost. Hope for some goods. We got a few batteries to spend, so we'll be able to Get antiviral going. Maybe a little more supply action. Start to look, look a little desperate with how little health we have now. I mean, it's not so bad. We got more supplies out of the deal. Multi-grenade launcher. That's really great because I have the, uh, <laughs> several grenades that we found earlier. There's a fire here. Let's see if we can hit that. That's not openable right now. Not easily anyway. Okay. We can't climb that. There's a couple of things in there we're able to find some ammo out of, so let's get inside. We'll hit this Herc station afterwards. Let me see. I can't make any 
Can bombs? I don't have cans? Oh, I haven't eaten actually any food. I guess that makes sense. Need can bombs so we can make the traps. All right, I need more explosives now. Oh, we need a construction table for the traps, actually. All right. Thought I'd be able to make them over a fire. Are you kidding me? Dude, what is with this? I am so unlucky today. Not great. Not great stuff. Bunch of 762 rounds. I don't have a 762 weapon. We'll take them. I guess from here we just go. We'll hit this. And we'll get on out. Just need to find the gas. We'll be able to pass on through. And then I guess from here on out, we just see if we can just make like a quick dive at that room. That little trap room. Luckily, the gas is right in front of me. There's some alcohol, too. And we're leaving. Okay, we hit this and we go to this guy here. And then straight up to the... We just go straight up the middle. Straight up the middle here. What we're going to do here now, though, guys, is we're going to go ahead and leave off this video here. It's already over two hours long. So when we come back on the next episode, this is where we're going to begin with this very not well geared in many aspects character. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and pick up where we left off right here we're gonna basically use nothing but the m4 and just power our way through um i don't need, like, i haven't even found like a construction table in a while to make more melee weapons as well so that's a bit of a bit of a shame i can't really do much with quick crafting either so it is what it is but that said thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for being a part of what i do um by the time this, this goes live we'll be at 3,000 subscribers already we're only a couple away so that's amazing thank you so much for all the support guys i really appreciate it Thank you for liking and commenting on the videos as well, and I'll see you soon for more.